so let's look at and forward and backward chainings this is screen 1 okay and this is screen 2 just imagine in your mind okay this is screen 3 4 5 screens I have okay here I can give screen 2 screen 3 So first screen, I am going to assign the values. I am going to choose the values for um, effective date, okay, and term policy term. Only these two. That's it. Okay. Second screen also, I am going to do the same. Effective date again. I am changing. Suppose first screen I have chosen effective date equal to 10th of October 2017. Second screen I am changing it to maybe 11th of October and term one year previously I have taken now I am choosing within the work copy only everything happens now third screen also I am doing the same effective date again I am changing and term I am changing and fourth screen I am going to display expiry date expiry date so here your expiry date is equal to what is that effective date into effective date plus Term. this is declare expression this is the expression rule that you have fifth screen also I am just displaying expiry date this is how it has been designed okay now considering the forward chaining first screen I am going to choose the effective date and term is it going to execute this expression or not first screen is, at the first screen will the expression rule will be executed or not yes. clear everyone this is forward chaining right now second screen what happens will it execute again I am changing the effective date and term is it going to execute ok it is going to execute now third screen also I am going to change the effective date and term is it going to execute or not execute so now three screens forward chaining happened you can practically do it on your own just create two three test screens and see in the tracer now fourth screen tell me declare expression will be executed or not Fourth screen, I am displaying expiry date just to display. Okay, now is it going to execute declare expression? Why? It is not going to execute because we are not changing any input property values. So, declare expression rule will not be executed here. Similarly, fifth screen also expression will not be executed. This is forward check. This is clear, everyone. This is default behavior in declare expression rule okay look at here there is a value called whenever inputs change this is an option value that we have to choose actually but by default this value will be chosen under change tracking tab of declare expression under change tracking of de declare expression rule you have target property data calculate value when input properties change whenever input change that is the default value this option when you select declare expression behavior will be like this every time you update the input property values automatically the target property value will get calculated calculated by means of declarative expression is being executed in the background this is the forward chaining behavior now coming to backward chaining so there are other options we are not required to know everything I will tell you one of the options suppose I have choose whenever used so target property calculate value whenever used come back to expression what is the value here now whenever used what does this means whenever used means PRPC is going to execute this expression whenever the target property has been used now it is not depending on source property value changes it now depends on the execution of the declare expression automatic execution of declare expression is depends on the target property value changes sorry target property usage whenever used target property used consider our declare expression is now whenever used now this is whenever used okay whenever used okay now tell me based on this whenever used option First screen, I am going to choose the values for effective and term. Effective date and term. Is it going to execute declare expression? 
first screen it will not execute because here i am not using turret property suppose in the same screen i have used turret property then then it will execute okay i am not using so it is not going to execute next screen also screen 2 it will not execute because target property is not been used screen 3 target property is not been used screen 4 target property is been used now declare expression rule will be executed so now when it executes which value will be taken screen 1 2 3 which one obviously values are overridden only three values will be there so now declare expression rule will not be executed for whenever used in first screen second screen or third screen it is going to execute at the fourth screen fourth screen it will execute fifth screen it will execute this is the behavior of backward chaining okay this is called as technically backward chaining so suppose in there are some requirements like this effective date so today you have implemented like this every time user is updating effective date and expiry and terms you are calculating expiry date intermediate somewhere you are using might be tomorrow business functionality is changed like that so you are not at you are not using this expiry date anywhere in your application just you are displaying somewhere so then you are not required to go for forward chaining when do you go for forward chaining suppose i want to recalculate the value again and again every time sources are changing recalculate it and i am going to again use this for some other business purpose then i will go for forward chaining suppose my requirement is like this every time you change it whether it is calculated or not calculated i don't want it i will display it finally to the end users this is what your expert that is a requirement then you go for backward chaining better because i am intermediate anywhere i am not using no need to calculate let him update always okay and number of times he is going to update the effective date and term finally when the when the expiry date is getting displayed that time i'll calculate and display simply done suppose anywhere you are intermediate using then your backward chaining will not work okay suppose you are calculating premium based on this again you are calculating premium suppose effective date expiry date expiry date has come one year premium is this one two years premium is something else three years premium is something else like this you are calculating but before you last finally display premium in between somewhere you want to use this premium for some other calculations purpose based on the premium value i want to provide discount intermediate itself i want to display that then i will go for forward chaining every time it has to be calculated and thus discount has to be again recalculated suppose i don't have any discounts finally i want to just to display a premium value to customer that's it and number of times user changes the respective inputs i don't bother about displaying the premium finally i'll display the premium that time while i'm displaying the final premium the latest value of the premium will be calculated with the latest input values that is the behavior of backward chaining so when do you use forward chaining when do you use backward chaining is always depends on your business requirement so the calculated value somewhere in between you are using definitely you go for forward chaining calculated value you are not using finally you want to display it at last i don't know i am not required but you are changing the input properties but still i don't want to use the calculated value anywhere in my business processing then i am required to use backward chaining this is clear everyone able to imagine okay everyone online okay fine so this is forward chaining and backward chaining behaviors see whenever it is been asked in interviews you have to talk about these two okay mainly that you know perfectly what is forward what is backward chain. other options are there so other options whenever used if no value present what does this mean this is also backward chaining other than whenever you inputs change everything else every other option is backward chaining you can blindly remember that whenever used if no value present means by the time you use target property there should not be a value for it okay then only the declare expression will be executed hello
How when it happened? Oh, that time. Huh? Okay, fine. So I'm sorry about it. Okay, whenever used, now you should be able to hear me. Whenever used, if no value present means by the time you use this property, it should not have a value associated with it. So it, it can be there on clipboard everywhere. It should be available, but it should not have a value. It should be blank. Then declare expression will be executed. Whenever used, if property is missing means by the time you use this property, it should not be available on clipboard itself. Either the property also should not be there on clipboard. Then only expression will be executed. Okay. You are not required to bother about all these options. Okay. Go to the help here. Get help and read about other two options which are been added from Pega 7 version. Okay. Read about all those things. You will understand. Change tracking. Read about all these things. But the two options which you need to remember is whenever input change which you need to understand is whenever used. These two you must understand. One is for forward. One is for backward change. This is clear everyone. Any questions, any doubts, anything you do not understand functionally. Okay. So we have seen forward chaining already. Backward chaining also you can test it this way, whatever I have explained. So with this, okay, one more thing I want to uh, give you an idea about declare expression. So now tell me what is the advantage of using declare expression? What is the advantage? Is it going to eliminate activity or data transform? Is it going to eliminate activity or data transform? The usage of activity or data transform has been eliminated. How? Because this we have to do in multiplication everything in activity or data transform. We are not using that. Instead we are using. What is the advantage of declare expression exactly? Hmm? Automatically executes. No need to call every time. Because if it is activity or data transform, what you have to do? Everywhere, wherever you want, you have to call it. This calculation. No need to call. What is the disadvantage? What is the disadvantage of using declare expression? Hmm. You can't update the values. Look at here. property set here you go what is it policy policy details dot policy expiry date suppose policy why it is not coming the browser is not updated policy details dot Policy expiry date is equal to suppose I am assigning something. I am assigning policy details dot policy effective date plus something. I am assigning. Save this. What is the error message you got? Target property already specified in another expression. It has already been specified. You cannot use it anywhere you want to update the value of target property. You cannot do it. That has to happen only through expression. You are going to use any of the property as a target property in declarative expression rule. Then that can never be used anywhere near downstream of the programming or upstream. Wherever you want to use, you cannot use it. So the usage of the reusability of the property has gone. So the reusability of the property has gone. This is the level of interviews. Okay. So the reusability of the property is gone. So means Whenever you are using a property in declare expression as a target property, but this can this be available this site? Is it possible? So I'm not assigning. I'm just reading the value. I'm not writing the value. Is it okay? This is okay. You can read it, but you cannot write the value. So left side it can be available, but not sorry right side it can be available, but not left side. Okay. So the declarative rules cannot be written from any other rules. I mean to say declarative the property which is involved as a target property in declare expression cannot be written anywhere else it is it now become a read only property so this is the disadvantage means you should have a great future forecast about the usage of this property maybe for future enhancements also you should think about all those things before okay this will never be used other than this way 
of calculation then you have to include that in declarative rule otherwise you shouldn't so if you open a property <clears throat> and go to advanced tab cannot be a declarative target if you apply this checkbox on a property that you cannot use in declarative rules suppose there is one property that will that is being used in different different ways in your programming you never want this property to be a declarative target in any of the application development by any of the developers you open that property go to advanced tab and use this checkbox it cannot be a declarative target so it will not it can never be a target property in declarative rule this is clear this is how you can how to restrict a property from being a target property in declarative rule is directly on the property advanced tab you have an option cannot be a declarative target you cannot use it it cannot it can never be in declarative rule once you suppose you do not check it once used in declarative rule that can never be used in programming okay so the advantage of the declarative rule is automatic execution and the disadvantage of the declarative expression wise expression wise is the reusability of the property has gone okay you cannot update the property value this is clear everyone okay so these are the interview questions that will be used.